What's going on? Terribly Tactical back at the tabletop with another extremely affordable old piece of kit. I uh, just did the video not that long ago on that CZ VZ70, you know, old Milserp uh, pistol that's inexpensive but well built and still works. And uh, here's another thing just like that. And today we are talking about a Vietnam War Chinese Type 63 chest rig. Um, Shycom rig as it's affectionately called. And uh, these things are old, they're plentiful, and they're extremely inexpensive. And uh, you, can, you can get them for like 10 to 20 bucks depending on where you're getting them. Or there's a few different variants. And uh, this one is just sweet. This one is in like mint condition. Uh, it's perfect, absolutely perfect. And uh, we're going to take a look at it. Ignore those mags here for a second. Um, on the back, you can see the markings, uh, 7.62 and uh, some other verbiage that I cannot read, but it's cool. And, uh, you know, just overall construction, you know, it's it's Chinese, right? And uh, everybody's like, oh, the made in China stuff is junk. Well, this has survived all those years, and uh, it looks brand new, and it's still more than perfectly serviceable. On the front, you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven pouches to stow any type of magazines or accessories or tools or medical or anything that you need. Uh, you have two cross shoulder straps that work basically how uh, the SOE micro rigs work. Your head and neck go through the middle here, shoulders through there, and uh, then you also have a waist strap. You have a waist strap to tie around yourself. I know we're not doing this justice. It's not the best. It doesn't fit in frame. However, um, you guys get the picture. Metal, metal loops, little leather, pleather, something, you know, retaining straps for the extra that's hanging off. And uh, these little knobs, um, little knobs. <laughs> a lot of you guys out there watching are little knobs, or at least have one. Uh, <laughs> but, uh, no, I'm just kidding. I love you guys. Um, but these little nubbin things or whatever they're, they're obviously meant to retain the mag. You know, they go through here, little clasp style deals. These are actually made out of bamboo, um, which is super cool, super cool. But yeah, I mean, very, very nice canvas, you know, style rig, nylon style rig. And, uh, again, super affordable. You can get them all over the place online for like 10 to 20 bucks. And look at this. Springfield, which Socialist Armory, I hate him. Um, my pops has one, though, and he, he loves it. Um, but M1A, you guys are running M1As or BM59s or the James River variants or whatever. It fits those mags, no problem. Um, in here, we've got a 20-round AR mag. Fits that perfectly fine. 30-round P mag for an AR. Fits that perfectly fine. Obviously, with the t and it will also fit an AK mag. I don't have one laying around to grab to show you guys, but it will. Um, the, the, the straps will obviously not close on the taller mags. However, it still holds them in there pretty snug, and you can modify stuff or shove stuff inside of here to make it fit snug and make it work. You could even cut these completely off if you wanted to. There's a lot of things you can do, but for 10 or 20 bucks, if, if you know, get one for, you know, collectability, it's cool just to have. Um, but then if you're going to use one, you know, for your Minuteman loadout, your your defense, you know, defensive armed civilian loadout, whatever it may be, uh, you feel free to modify it, man. You got into it cheap enough, and you can make it work. Um, they're green. They're a good, solid green color. Uh, so that's cool. You know, it's not like white or tan or beige or anything that's not really going to blend in with too much. And like I said, they're very well made, and you can get them so cheap, and it will accommodate. You could run M1 Grand clips in here. You could run uh, stripper clips for an SKS or whatever, man, you know, or just stripper clips to load your, your AR mags. Um, any, pretty much any modern style, uh, intermediate rifle or battle rifle magazine will fit in here within reason. And like I said, it, maybe the stra the top straps won't close, leave them open, cut them off, modify it, but you can get into a solid proven used in conflict chest rig for under 20 bucks so if you're on a budget this is a great option plus i like collecting all the old stuff all the old military stuff this is super cool to have and uh, again perfectly functional you know perfectly functional again we got those 
those waist straps again your head you know goes through there your shoulders come out of here and then you have you have the waist strap to tie behind you now for some of you bigger guys and gals out there uh, might not have enough adjustability but again you can modify it and make it work um, the the Chinese tend to be on the smaller side but I just thought I'd bring that to the table in case you guys have never seen one uh, check them out online man they're all over eBay they're all over like surplus shops and stuff like that and again super cheap but well built been there done that and can still go there and do that so I just thought I'd bring that to you guys and uh, let me know what you think let me know if you got one let me know if you collect stuff like this let me know if you use one maybe in like a class or if, if that's part of your go-to Minuteman rig or, or whatever it is but Shycom Vietnam War Chinese Type 63 chest rig still getting it done baby like, share, comment, subscribe. Check all the links in the description box below. And stay tuned for what's next. Catch you later, guys. Peace.